Hello, welcome back to the next YAWL tutorial. This one is on org groups and positions. So this is the next component of the YAWL organizational model that you can see on the slide behind me. On this slide you can see that participants can hold any number of positions. Positions can report to other positions. So this is the relation to the next higher in the hierarchy. And positions can also belong to one or more org groups. And org groups form a hierarchy by themselves. The reports to hierarchy and the positions hierarchy can be aligned but don't have to be. So today we will show you how to define such a hierarchy in the YAWL control center. We will not build a workflow this time. Let's first create our org chart here. So we have at the top a software division. This is an org group and we have a programming department. And the programming department belongs to the software division. And we can imagine that we have other org groups here. And below the programming department, we have two teams, team A and team B. and the teams belong to the programming department. And now we have positions. We have the vice president. And the vice president belongs to the software division. We have a manager. Manager belongs to the programming department and we have two programmers, programmer A1 and programmer A2. And they both belong to team A and we have programmer B1 and programmer B2 and they both belong to team B. And now we have the reports to relation. So um, we have programmer A1 reports to the manager and programmer a2 as well, the other programmers too, and the manager reports to the vice president. And note that this reports to relation doesn't have to follow the org structure. Okay, here we are logged in as the YAWL administrator on the right hand side. And what we will do first, we will create a new role call this role programmer and we will create a new user password pass and we will add the role programmer. Okay, that's that. And now we are going to create the org structure on the left hand side. So we start with org groups and the org groups are the software division. Mm -hmm. 
and we can select the group type. So this is a group, let's say. And the next one is the programming department. And now we can say that the programming department belongs to the software division. And team A, this belongs to the programming department. And team B, Next, we will enter the positions. So we start with the, uh, the position of the vice president. And the vice president belongs to the software division. Next, we have the manager. The manager belongs to the programming department and the manager reports to the vice president. And programmer A1 reports to the manager and belongs to team A. A2 belongs to uh, reports to the manager and belongs to team A and programmer B1 reports to the manager belongs to team B And programmer B2 reports to the manager, belongs to team B. So now we have our org structure defined. And now we can go to the YAWL editor and we just create a task here. New task, call it A. And we go to the resourcing. And now you can see we can enable system offer. And we have the role of the programmer here. And now in the org structure, we can now say, for example, this task should be offered to someone from Team B, for example. We can even say that it should be programmer B2. We can specify which position it is. And we can also use AND and OR operators here to make more complex expressions. So you've seen that organizational structures and positions are quite expressive and that they are part of every personal management system. And this is the bridge from the more role-based workflow into the organization. That's all for today. See you next time.